Hey everybody, it's Matt with House of Vacuums, and today on the bench we've got a Kenmore Intuition <laughs> Canister, the Quiet Guard Sound Technology True HEPA Filtration. So the complaint on this guy is that the um, that there's no suction. So we're gonna take a peek at this and see what's going on. Let's go. All of the controls are on the handle. So we're gonna go ahead and test him out. See, we wanna make sure that the motor sounds okay. We wanna see if it sounds straining, see if there's a lot of flex here in this area, cause that could mean that there's a clog and it's just creating a huge negative pressure chamber right here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch this on. Well, it has those grumbly bearings that old Kenmore's like to get, but Still sounds like it's running okay, but there was no, and I mean a zero suction. So, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, good grief. So there's like all kinds of dirt in here. Secondary filters just completely roached out. Um, there's like, oh, their bag's not in all the way. So see, that is problematic. If that slides, that's a problem. See, with cardboard collars, you have the ability, you can have it partially out like this, and when the hose goes in, it instead of like just not letting you close the bag door or whatever, it actually will flex this. See how that just bends right there? That's all it did, it just bent it down, and they closed it and thought everything was hunky-dory when this was going on. However, all that to say, these would not cause the issues that we're seeing with suction. And the first thing that we're gonna look at is going to be the hose. Test this guy out. There is nothing in this hose, it is A-OK. -okay. We're just real quick gonna I don't recommend you run a vacuum like this, but we're just gonna be bumping it for just a second. So, there we go. Ugh. And see, look, already there's a little bit of that bag lip showing. Gotta push it back down. We're gonna try this again. All right, so we are going to check this out and see how many inches of water this is pulling. That is not so good. That is really not good. So it's pulling maybe 40 pounds. Um, it was like clicked down here from high. Oh, the cord reel goes by itself. Um, it was down here just a little ways from high before, so it was running at a lower speed. When I kicked it up, that's when we got just enough suction to get that 40 uh, inches of water lift. Just to give you a comparison point, most full-size vacuums will typically pull between 65 on the low end all the way up to like 90 to 100 on the high end. Um, so this is performing well below what a full-size machine should be pulling. Um, now, the one thing that we can check, there's no HEPA filter in this machine. It's, there was when it was new, but it's uh, no longer there. And then the one thing that we can check though is that secondary filter, which is a hot mess. This very well, oh, this is way worse than I thought. Yeah, that could be our issue. <laughs> Like guys, look at all that, look at that, that came out of it. Whoa, that was just a little bit plugged up. So I'm gonna take out this tray, the power, power flow tray.
All right, so this weighs about four times more than a new one, um, and there's no way that I'm getting that clean, so we're just gonna replace it. So, uh, just a little bit of difference, right? Just a little bit. All right. So we're gonna pop that guy back in there while this grate is out, just because it's easier. So this now goes back in here. And that bag chamber looks, oh, 10 times better than it did. So we just take this, kind of poof them out a little bit. We're gonna tuck the tail in and then slide this guy down just like that. All right, so now he's in place. He is all the way in position, so shouldn't be going anywhere. Um, this little piece of fuzz. So we're gonna go ahead and try this now without that in there, because that, yeah, the motor was not breathing with that. Pulling just about 92 pounds, uh, or 92 inches rather, of water. So that is good news. Now, the other thing that we need to look at is the power nozzle and wand are also here. And the reason that I want to look at this is that there was dirt coming out of the bottom of it. When I drug it over here, there's like a little pile of dirt underneath it. And what happens a lot of times is if you get occluded filters, um, basically it's not moving air in as fast as say the brush roll is grooming it up. And you can tend to get clogs, particularly with pet hair down in the nozzle or the wand because of that. So um, so with this guy here, I think we may have a secondary clog that was caused by that occluded filter. So, um, cause if you can't move air in, you know, then, then the dirt just has nowhere to go. Yep, there's a clog in there. I don't know. There, you can see it right there. Yep, there you go. All right, so we need to, it's down low, so I could try to hook it, but it's just as easy, honestly, to take this apart. These are not complex. So now we can see our clog right there. And it looked from the other side like it was caused by a piece of paper. Yep, that's it. That's the clog. That's all there is. I can see down through the other side.
But that's how you unclog and troubleshoot filters on a Kenmore canister. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next